Hi guys, my name is Jerilyn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about the circle. First I'm going to recap what happened in the last few episodes and then I'm going to go over and tell you guys who do I think is going to win and what levels people are going to be put in and maybe maybe I'll be right. Maybe I will be right and I will be psychic like the new characters on the show. First let's get into it right quick. Tara Leisha's exit. That pissed me off. That pissed me off because I love Tara Leisha. I don't know. I just like her. I think she's down to earth. I think she's cool. And it was all sneaky Savannah's fault. Disclaimer, okay? Before I get into it, before I trash talk, I am not coming for the real Savannah. I'm sure she's a sweet girl but in the show, girl. Cut throat. She set the whole thing on fire. Courtney just kept that and put it in his little hands and mixed it up and joker playing games eating everybody up coming for coming for weaves coming for souls coming for wigs i was really mad that river didn't come in and save tara alicia at the end i thought that was fake because when it came down to it tara alicia had his back period and he didn't do the same low-key i don't think river's gonna win he's just not as strong as the other characters to be honest like i just haven't really seen him form that many relationships he basically got rid of everyone i think he was cool with Tara Alicia, boom. He got rid of Emily, boom. Courtney, you can't trust Courtney. Courtney coming for that hundred grand. He don't want no friends. Which honestly, Courtney pisses me off a little bit, but like I can't be mad at him because if it was me, if I was in the circle, which I should be, um, because I auditioned insert role clip. Also, Chloe is on to Trevor. Low key, it's kind of messed up. I know they're playing a game. But Chloe was trying to get her some of Mitchell, and Mitchell is an actual real person. And then Trevor is just gonna come around and be like, Hey, don't talk to my girl or whatever. Bro, you are blocking. That's a real man that Chloe could get with. Honestly, don't know how long Trevor's gonna come because Chloe has a big mouth and she tells people stuff. I feel like she would tell people like what was going on, how she felt about Trevor. I can't remember. Did she do that already? Who was the first one who was on to Trevor? I can't remember who was on to Trevor, but in the beginning, I think the first few episodes, somebody was already on to him. Then that kind of got wished down the rug. But if I was Trevor, I probably wouldn't have made the makeup as good as, as it was. And I probably would have messed it up a little bit. That whole makeup situation is what killed Emily. They were asking him, how many makeup brands do you know? And I don't even wear makeup like that. So like if I was thinking like, damn, if I was a circle, what, what would I know? I know James Charles palette, Jeffree Star's palette, Maybelline, because I said that yesterday, MAC and Sephora? The Sephora count? At the end when they gave them Jack and Lance, that little double team up, that was the interesting part. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to work though, because I've noticed that a lot of people who enter the circle late do not form the connection because it circles real cl clickish. I don't know if Jack and Lisa, aka Emily and Lance, are going to be able to come and pull through and show us that they can win the $100,000. Let's just talk about Lance for a second, aka Lisa. She should have been caught. Honestly, I don't know what she was thinking. I don't know who you thought you were fooling. Lance is like a like a mega celebrity. He was like an in sync. Even if people thought and believed that you weren't a catfish, like they're gonna give a hundred thousand dollars to a millionaire. No, you are not winning, honey. Eat the rich. I just feel like that wasn't a smart move. I would not go into a celebrity. Let's just talk about how interesting it would have been if they didn't do that like double switcheroo with Lance and Emily, aka Jack and Lisa. If that switcheroo did not happen, it would have been so interesting because I think Lisa was going to see Trevor, Lance was going to see River. Catfishes would have come face to face. It would have been super dope, it would have been super cool to see how that face to face thing went out, what they would have said, what the message they would have sent. On to the list of who I think is going to win. Courtney annoys me. Courtney annoys me to the core because he got rid of Tara Alicia. I love Tara Alicia, but I can't be mad at him, like I said, because he is playing the game. He makes it interesting. Tara Alicia did try to get rid of him first, so it's kind of like, I gotta get you before you got me. First, he done got the girls all messed up. Now he finna get the guys all messed up. I can't wait to see how he messes up the guys, though. Like, I, oh, not me being kind of being interested and kind of shady, but I think Courtney is going to win the circle. Number two would be Emily. She's very likable. But towards the end of the circle, I feel like that whole likable gig is going to get them cut off. The third one is Kat because people aren't really paying attention to them. There's more drama surrounded around Chloe and everyone else that's been there a longer time. And Kat got influencer last time. However, Chloe's on to him, so I think he's, he, his time might be cut short. River is my number five. I don't think River can win. 
like I just like the way that kind of Courtney kind of like played into like what he wanted for it to do doing the blocking it shows that like you know he could low-key be a little like you know swayed so I feel like that's not the kind of mindset you have to win the circle and I think that six Mitchell is going to be kicked off as next week he's smart though like I think he's going to be kicked off next week but he's smart just because I haven't seen him form as many relationships as the others but if he does come through and create some more relationships to stay, then he might have, like, you know, some staying power. Um, he's got to do more than just flirt with the girls, though, because the girl whole thing, it didn't work. He tried Emily. Emily's out. After Mitchell goes, Jack and Emily will probably go just because they're, you know, later in the circle. And new the circle doesn't like new friends. They do not like new friends. Anyways, guys, that was my take, my little two cents. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Circle, send message. If you're watching this, put me, cast me into the next season, okay? I want in. I want in. A hundred grand, I don't have any friends. I'm gonna be playing it worse than Courtney. Courtney is child's play. His little shady game, nothing on me. If y'all put me in front of a hundred thousand dollars, I would be the reality TV show villain. Thanks for watching my video and peace.